Hey guys, welcome to a new Wishlister Pass video. If you're interested in seeing what newly released or soon to be released makeup product I want to put on my wish list or which products I want to take a pass on, then keep on watching. So first up is the MAC and Nico Panda collab being released on April 5th online and April 11th in stores. Now, this whole collection is panda themed and my fr okay, my first impression when I saw the pictures initially, my first impression was hell no. <laughs> that was my first impression, okay? I got to be honest. I was like, "Oh my goodness, this looks like children's makeup. What's going on? It's so big big like the lipsticks just look big and bulky like little toys like it's just, no, it's an easy pass. But then the more and more pictures started coming out, I was like, oh, well, it would kind of bring me out of my comfort zone because it's cooler toned shades. They're gonna be um, three different shades of uh, eyeshadow palettes that also have, I think, a blush in there. And it's all in the cooler tone range. And also, I think about five or six lipsticks and some lip glosses. But there is this like face powder that I really thought was cute in the beginning. It's like this blush that has like a panda embossed in there. So it looks like it's a mixture of peach and pink together. You can just kind of swirl your brush in there it looks like and you can get a nice blend of, of peach and pink, light pink together. That was adorable, not gonna lie. I really did like that one item from the beginning. But everything else I was like, oh. But I think I will purchase a couple of things and do a little review on my channel just because I don't normally go for cooler tones and I want to try it and I want to see if the the face and eyeshadow palettes like in one it looks like they slide in and out like the the blush looks like it's underneath the eyeshadow palette I want to see much pigment eyeshadows and I also want to get that I think it's just called like a face powder blush the one that has that panda in it so I'll let you guys know what I think and I will be <laughs> and um it's gonna be a tough sell though because I don't know it's really not really my thing but I can see how if you're really into pandas and I do think pandas are cute and they're adorable but not when the lipstick has this huge okay whatever I said my piece I think I've been repeating myself but we'll see how it goes maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised and maybe I won't be so stay tuned we'll see what I think I'll buy a couple things from that Mac by Nico panda collection. I also looked up online who this Nico panda was because I had honestly I had no clue and I felt stupid that I didn't know so I looked it up and so the designer is Nico Formichetti or something Nico Formichetti so it looks like he's Italian and he used to be Lady Gaga's former stylist so that's how he got his I think big break was being her stylist and after that he was able to start his own fashion brand so Wow, when I saw that, I thought, okay, maybe I should give this another chance. Next up is this new blush by Benefit, one of their boxed blushes, which I own three of already, so they're very good quality. And when I saw pictures, I think it's called Gold Rush, I thought, wait a second, is this a blush or is this a highlighter? I mean, it's really pretty, but it looks like a highlighter because of all this shimmery gold. I don't know if it's just like a gold overlay sprayed on top, but either way, I don't know, it just looks kind of strange to me to be a blush. Um, it just looks super uber shiny, so, and gold. So, I don't know, I mean, I don't know if I particularly want to look like a gold, like, Oscar statue or something, but it's already available now in Canada in uh, benefit stores, and it's going to be released on Sephora Canada uh, at the end of March. So I don't know when it's going to be released in the U.S. or the rest of the world. I'm guessing in the U.S., probably in April sometime, but that's just a guess. But no, I'm going to be taking a pass on this. It really doesn't seem like my thing, especially when my first reaction was highlighter or no. So mm -mm, not going to get it. Don't need it. Don't need to spend my money on that. So that's going to be a hard pass. So next up, this was just released, I think about a week or two ago, and it's from Kat Von D. She released 10 new liquid lipstick shades, and I love her liquid lipstick color, ra uh, color range, and I love the formula. It doesn't seem to be overly drying on my lips when I wear it and there's no transfer. So except for a couple colors that 
for instance, the colors Vampira and um, Noble are patchy on me. But besides those two colors, the rest of her colors are top notch. So when I saw these 10 colors, initially, the two colors that stood out to me were Milagro, uh, well, which I think is miracle in Spanish. I took Spanish for like eight years. And it's a gorgeous kind of um, orangey brown, really, really pretty. It reminds me of the ABH color um, Ashton or Dose of Colors Cork, that kind of uh, color, color family. And the other color that really stood out to me at, in the beginning was um, Saint because it looked like a cooler pink color. And I was like, oh, I don't own that many cool pink tones. I normally go for warmer uh, pink tones if I wear pink lipstick. So, but then when more and more pictures started coming out, Milagro was still a color I wanted. But Saint, I was like, uh, it's actually like a peachy pink which is the type of color I normally go for, like I said, a warmer peachy pink, but I own a bunch of those and I don't need this one. But Milagro still seemed really, really, really top notch. So I'm planning on getting Milagro and um, what was the other one? It's like a peach, uh, not peach. The other one is like this bright pink that has some reddish tones in there and it's called Traviesa. I really want to try that. The more and more I looked at swatches that were coming out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a totally like bold statement, sexy summer lip color that I'm really digging and it seems different, not like anything I own in my collection. Another color that seemed intriguing to me was the color Orale, and I love the name Orale. <laughs> uh, listen, it could either go really, really, wrong or really really right with an orange that shade so I'm still on the fence with that color but I'm pretty sure I will be getting Traviesa and Milagro those two colors really stood out to me so next up are some new lip glasses from MAC so they're all kind of sweets themed and very 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 shimmery they look very pretty it looks like there's a lot of pigment and so for instance some of the names are of the color of the shades are Death by Chocolate, Funfetti Cake, uh, I think it's like Coconut Macaroon, so, and I love sweets, so I was like, oh, it's so cute, but um, they look really pretty. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of MAC glosses in general because they are a bit goopy, but when I do find a color that I really love, I buy, I buy them anyway, and I do have three MAC lip glasses that I'm obsessed with, so I do keep restocking those three colors. But unless it's a color that really stands out to me, I normally don't buy MAC lip glasses. But we'll see. Whenever this comes out, I'll, I'll go in store and swatch some of them on my arm and see what I think. So uh, as of now, no, I'm going to take a pass on these. But who knows, I might get one color um, whenever this does come out. It doesn't have a release date as of yet. So either one or none. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is also from MAC. So I saw online that they're going to be releasing sometime soon, there's no fixed date yet, but they're going to be releasing some new Fix Plus sprays. A Fix Plus Matte, a Fix Plus Gold Light, a Fix Plus Pink Light. So the Fix Plus Gold Light and Pink Light didn't really intrigue me at all. I don't really care for any, either of those. Um, I'm guessing they're going to have like Pink Sparkle or Gold Sparkle in there and no, it's okay, I don't really need that. But the Fix Plus Matte, girl, I really think I'm gonna get that because I love a good matte setting spray because my skin tends to be on the oilier side. Yes, I have some dewy setting sprays, like I love the Glam Glow setting spray if I want a more dewy look, but that one still works for my skin. But there are certain sprays where it just looks too, like an oil slick on my face if I spray that on. For instance, the Tatcha, Miss that everyone tends to say, oh, it's amazing, it's great, does not work for me at all. I look like I've been doused in sweat, like it's just not a good look for me. I look horrible in that Tatcha, when using that Tatcha uh, setting spray or mist or whatever. The only way I can pull off that mist is if I use that as skin prep beforehand as a moisturizer, but really I don't think that's what it's supposed to be used for. It's supposed to have that, impart that dewy look that, for instance, Kim Kardashian is known for using that spray all the time to have that dewy look but for me no nah. it looks really bad not a good look for me but this anyway back to this mac uh fix plus matte i want to try this can't wait i hope i 
can buy this soon. I have no idea when this will be coming out, but I will be I will be purchasing the Mac uh, Fix Plus Matte Spray. So yes, it's going to be going on my wish list. All right, next up, there are going to be two new NARS uh, cheek palettes that will be released for the spring collection. One is geared towards more um, fair to light skin tones, and the other one is geared more towards medium to dark skin tones. Initially, the medium to dark skin tone one actually intrigued me, but not as a face palette, but more so as an eyeshadow palette. So I was like, hmm, can I use this as an eyeshadow palette? All the warm tones, oh my gosh, they look so, 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 so gorgeous. But then when swatches uh, started coming out of both palettes, I was like, wow, the light one actually would look good for what it's meant to look to be for, you know, blushes, highlights, that kind of thing. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe, but I, had, I've, I do not own any of their NARS uh, face palettes because I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so pricey. I don't know if I can bite the bullet. I don't know if I can go all in, you know, uh, we'll see. So let me just tell you, the Volume 1 palette, which is the lighter palette, when I actually did see swatches, man, I think I might have to end up purchasing one of these NARS face palettes to see what the, what the buzz is all about because everyone always gives these palettes really good reviews whenever they come out with, you know, new ones for varying various collections. So I most likely will get the volume one one, although the volume two one is super sexy. Like really, oh my gosh, the colors are so nice and deep and gorgeous for the volume two palette, but I know the volume one one will suit my skin tone if I'm gonna use it as a face palette. So probably the volume one NARS palette is what I will be purchasing. Um, I don't know when though, but it's already, I think, out online and in store, it will be out on March 18th, so right around the corner. I'm excited about the Volume 1 palette. I just have to really take a deep breath and be like, okay, bye-bye money. Last up, also from NARS, are these new NARS highlighting powders. They're coming out with, I think, six powders. These highlighters do look quite, quite beautiful, but like I told you guys, I wanna go on a highlighter no-buy, especially after purchasing the Umrezi highlighter and then the Becca S and Sananas highlighter. So for this month, I won't be purchasing any more highlighters. I'm all highlightered out. Um, I wanna use those two as much as possible because they're both super gorgeous, especially I'm in love with that Umrezi highlighter. I was shocked. I thought I would like it. I didn't know I would love it. Even though all these NARS highlighters look super, super pretty, like there's a there's a tone, I think, for every skin color, which is great. I do not need another highlighter, but, but for all of you who are in the market for a new highlighter, these look gorgeous, and NARS really was one of the only makeup companies initially who had highlighters. Remember that, Albatross? Um, I think that was, that was the only highlighter on the market, as well as... Um, max like strobe cream so max strobe cream and nars's albatross before those two there were no other real highlighter specifically highlighter product these highlighters will be available on march 15th online on their website online and in nars stores but it won't be released on sephora until april 1st i believe and then in sephora stores on april 5th it they do look really really pretty but I really don't need any more highlight highlighters. So I'll be taking a pass on these. So guys, that's the end of my wish list or pass video for this week. Let me know down below what products you're interested in getting and what products you're not interested in getting. I'd like to hear your opinions as well. And please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one and have a good rest of the day wherever you are. Bye guys.